Hi and welcome to another video in our Mastering QuickBooks Online series. Today we're going to cover the getting started section, uh, how to get help with certain areas and how to get help from within inside QuickBooks Online. So we'll start once again once you're logged in we're going to go to the home page. We're going to go to the getting started section and when it says learn about QuickBooks Online Plus. Inside here you'll notice uh, three major sections. You're going to have a an interactive tutorial which is a video tutorial that you can go and watch there. You'll also have a I learned key concepts section uh, where you have a few links there that you can uh, go through. It'll explain some more about the general overview of QuickBooks Online. Um, you can also go into our sample company, which allows you to uh, enter information and uh, kind of take a test run of stuff without having to worry about your own books. So you can use that there also. Okay. Um, you'll notice right below that is the set up your company data section. Okay. This we're going to go in. There's a setup checklist down here. This will go through everything you need to do uh, to get your company up and running. Uh, so to start out with, we're going to go through uh, a few of these so you have everything to take care of. Uh, the deleting practice data, if you've done anything in there. Uh, classes and locations, we'll cover here after a while how to find uh, some more information. Obviously, you're taking a uh, tutorial on a class right now, so that should take care of a lot of that. But I'll show you some other ideas of how to find a, get a hold of people in your area if you want a one-on-one -on -one class. Choose a start date. Okay, if you click on that, you'll notice it takes us in here, gives us the information about how to choose a start date, start you have your, the date you start your company, uh, and also if you want to start a thing as of today's date. Uh, the next couple things here is talk about historical transactions. Uh, with QuickBooks Online, the good thing about it is that if you want to enter historical data and historical transactions, you can simply enter them just like if it happened at that time. Uh, what we usually tell people is that if, if you go back and want to enter a check that was that was written uh, six months ago you literally go into the right check screen you go back put the data six months ago and enter it just like that and it'll go in the system just like if you did at that time uh, the last one here talks about reconciling you can actually go through and reconcile right in order just like you would normally with your historical data okay the do later stuff in a, yeah, and uh, checklist we'll go through some of this as, as we go you also obviously can do that on your own time also uh, the next thing I want to cover is a couple of things on each page. We're going to go to the Create Invoices screen, and I'll go over a couple quick items that are associated with every screen you pull up in QuickBooks Online. At the very bottom of the screen is going to be a Related Activities and Information section. Okay, in that is going to be some related activities which tell you how to do stuff that's similar to what you're doing on that page. It also has the Reports section. Obviously, a real good uh, thing to note in here is the history of changes. Uh, if you have questions about a transaction or a certain entry and how it got there, if it's been changed, this will give you the overall history of that transaction, when it was entered, if it's been changed by anybody, who changed it, all that's in that section. The important part here is the how do I. Okay. Now, since we're in the invoice section, obviously it's important for us to understand uh, how we want to bill our customers. Okay. If you click on that, you're going to notice a pop-up screen that comes up gives you all the information of creating invoices, setting up uh, information to set up your products and services, everything right inside there. Okay, um, There's some other ones in there. This, this section right here is in al on almost every page that you come to in QuickBooks Online. So if you go into the receipt payment screen, and once that comes up you scroll to the bottom again, you notice the same, same uh, different sections below, but you also notice here it is, how do I? Okay, and here it has all the information about this particular page. So that's the best source of information for each type of transaction or entry you're going to make in QuickBooks Online. Now, last but not least, uh, we're going to scroll down here. What we need to know is how to get a hold of support. So what you'll do on the top, you'll notice there's a help button. Now, QuickBooks Online support as of uh, the recording of this video, I think, was o is open uh, 6 to 6, Monday through Friday, Pacific Time. If you are a QuickBooks Online Plus, or online edition user, you get free phone support included with your subscription. That means you can call uh, the number for support during those hours and, and they will take care of any of your questions. So we're getting into the help overview here as soon as it loads. All right, so now we'll notice in the help overview, we have the product, that's what we have. Uh, type of question, we're gonna use quick using QuickBooks Online. Now we're after hours now, so you're not gonna see the phone number in here, but we'll, uh, we'll go through the first one, instant answers. Okay, that's a, kind of a self-help area. Ask QB again is a self-help interactive answering. Uh, call us now. You'll see us close during normal hours. You'll have a 1-800 number and a wait time on there. You can schedule a call back. And what that means is you type your question in there. And, uh, QuickBooks Online Support will call you back um, 
during normal working hours, and the same thing with have us contact you again. It lets you put your question in, and they'll call you back during the next business day. Uh, last but not least is the Learn Network, which are our Intuit communities. Uh, this is a great place for forums and get help from other users, and then obviously our sample company again. And that pretty much covers it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go over the money inside of your homepage. So stay tuned for that next video.